everybody Ellen here today I come to you guys with another video and um, today we're going to talk about my most anticipated releases for sort of this second half of 2021 so we're going to go from June until December and as always there's a couple of months here where I don't really have one most anticipated releases well some other months I have several <laughs> so yeah let's get to it I think I have 10 books to talk about so let's get started the first book I want to talk about is An Emotion of Great Delight by Tahir Mafi this is her second contemporary novel and I think this I don't really know a lot about this but this is supposed to take place in 2003 it's a couple of years after 9-11 and it's basically takes off where um, a few months after America has declared war against Iraq and it's just about our main character Shadi who is trying to you know build up her world again when her brother is dead her dad is dying and her mother is basically just crumbling to pieces so it sounds like a really heartfelt really um, dark and hard story to get through. I really loved her first contemporary book, A Very Large Expanse of Sea, so I'm really looking forward to reading this one as well. And this one is supposed to come out on June 1st. And then we have like my second, possibly, most of this period of this year, but this is My Contrary Mary. This is the first book in a new series by the Lady Janies, if you call them, uh, Cynthia Han, Brody Ashton and Jodie Meadows. They have in the past written three books about sort of reinvented sort of Jane stories and now it's time for the Marys. So this is supposed to follow Mary of Scotland I think and she's the queen and obviously there's going to be some magical elements in this one as well. This is a retelling that takes place in the same sort of world as um, My Lady Jane. So it's sort of this um, royal retelling if you will and I loved Molly Jane so much from the first series this was my favorite so I really really high hopes for this one uh, I don't really know much about it but magical elements royals queens I'm all for it and this is supposed this book came out on June 22nd so right after my book by Ben you bet your ass I'm gonna buy this one for sure and the next book is She Who Became the Sun uh, by Sh by Shelley Parker Shan and this is the first book in a new series called The Radiant Emperor and this is supposed to be a historical fiction as you guys know I love historical fiction this is supposed to take place in 1345 in China um, under a harsh Mongol rule uh, we meet the Su family who has eight children and the eighth born son Su is given a fate of greatness and he's supposed to be this great man and everyone is sort of mystified as how it will come to pass. Uh, on the other hand, the second born daughter is, has the faith of nothingness, even though she's very capable and clever. But no one is surprised by the fact that she, her faith is nothingness. And when a bandit attack orphans the two children, um, and Sue, the one that was supposed to be for greatness, succumbs and dies, we only have the girl who takes on her brother's identity to join the monastery as a male novice so it sounds kind of almost a milan inspired thing um so it sounds really interesting and it's also supposed to be lbtq plus representation in it so i'm all for that so i'm really looking forward to reading this one actually. this one came out on july 20th we have lux a texas reckoners novel by brandon sanderson and this is supposed to take place in a different city uh, than the previous books. Like you can tell, I have two shelves for Brendan Sanderson, so I love his books. And I love the Reckoner series so, so much, and I just want to read this book. But not to spoil anything, uh, in the sort of first um, sets of books, we get to follow characters with supernatural powers and are trying to defend the city against other people with supernatural powers or sort of evil if you will and um, it's really really cool <laughs> and really hard to predict and I love them so much so I'm really looking forward to this one unfortunately this one is only out as an audiobook on audible so I will be listening to it but I'm really looking forward to it and this one came out on July 22nd and the next book is Empire of the Vampire which is a new series in the same 
with the same name. This is written by Jay Kristoff. I have read a couple of his previous books, like the Life Like series and Aurora Rising series and also Nevernight. So this is supposed to be sort of a vampire story. It's been three decades since the last sunrise. We follow our main character, Gabriel de Leon, who is a member of the Holy Brotherhood and is trying to protect the church from creatures of the night. And then he gets uh, imprisoned by the very monsters he vowed to destroy. So, you know, it was a long time since I read a vampire story, since like, Twilight and Vampire Diaries era, kind of. Um, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to this one. And this one is supposed to come out on September 7th. And then we have Under the Whispering Door by TJ Klune. I read The House in the Australian Sea by him a couple of months ago. Absolutely loved it. It's been a very, very hyped book here on Booktube. And I'm just, I just want to know what he comes up with else. And I know he has more books out that I just haven't gotten to yet, but... You just want to read this one so bad. And this is basically supposed to be about a man called Wallace Price. And he doesn't really want to believe that he is actually dead. He doesn't really start to believe he is in fact dead until the Reaper comes to his funeral and wants to take him away. But instead of being taken directly into the afterlife, he's actually brought to this sort of small city where he meets a man, Hugo, who is supposed to be this sort of fairy man that's supposed to take people, you know, to cross over to the other side. Uh, but Wallace isn't, you know, ready to move on because he doesn't want to believe the fact that he's dead. And Hugo is starting to really realize all the things he actually missed in life. And it just sounds like this really sort of dark but like cozy vibes. And it's supposed to be LBTQ uh, characters in here as well, just like in this other book I read. So I'm really, really looking forward to this one. And it has really great ratings. So Hopefully, you know, the ARC readers likes it. Um, but this one comes out on September 21st. Next week we have is Daughter of the Deep by Rick Riordan. And he's one of my favorite authors. <laughs> like you can probably tell, and these are only the ones I've read. I do own two more by him. So almost all of his books I read, uh, own. And this is supposed to be sort of the first book that is not following and mythology, which is sad because I love his mythology books and I'm really interested in mythology as well. But this is supposed to be inspired by 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea by Jules Verne, which is my one of my favorite classics. So it sounds very promising. Um, but in this one we meet Anna Dakar and she is a freshman at Harlem Pencroft Academy, which is sort of a five-year high school uh, where you graduate to become a marine scientist, naval warriors and navigators. Basically just explore you know, underneath the water, around the world. So Anna's parents actually died during this expedition two years ago, and the only family member she has left is her brother Deb, who is a couple of years older, who is also a student at the same academy as Anna. And to be able to graduate, she has this sort of trial, and you know, you have to pass the trial to be able to graduate. But on the bus ride, who the place where they're going to do their trial, they actually, she and her classmates actually watches this horrible tragedy take place, which changes everything. So it sounds really dark and mysterious, and I'm really interested to read a book that takes place, a lot of it, underneath the water. It's because that was a long time ago. So really hyped about, really hyped about this one. And this one is supposed to come out on October 5th. And next we have Aurora's End by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. This is book three, which I think is the last book in the Aurora Cycle series. We meet Tyler and he actually is the brightest uh, uh, student at the sort of space academy and he is supposed, because he, you know, sort of an honorary student, placed first in his class, he is supposed to be the first one to get to choose who his flying mates will be to join his crew, but he actually ends up missing graduation because he ends up rescuing Aurora from space. So he only gets the sort of ragtag people uh, left and he kind of gets stuck with them and tried to make his crew with them. And um, this is sort of a fast paced space uh, sci-fi kind of read and it's so addictive and I've read the first two books, love them. And I'm really looking forward to finding out what this 
book is going to entail. This is supposed to come out on November 9th. I have The Nobleman's Guide to Scandal and Shipwrecks and I feel like I've talked about this book in many of most anticipated releases because it keeps getting pushed back but hopefully it will be you know, actually published this time around. Uh, but this is written by Mackenzie Lee. This is the third and I think final book in the Montague Siblings series. I have read book one and two, really enjoyed them, even though the first one was my favorite. Um, so in each of the books, we follow different siblings. So in this one, we meet Adrian, and he's actually the younger brother to Montague and Felicity. Adrian is the sole heir to his father's estate. He's also the sort of um, prodigal writer, and when his mother unexpectedly dies, he's worried that everybody will find out that he has the same mental illness as his mother struggled with for years. And when he gets a keepsake from her, which is sort of this broken spyglass, he actually uh, gets thrust into the past and he comes across Monty, who is his older brother he didn't even know he had, and you know, shit goes down. So my favorite book was definitely the first one about Montague, um, or Monty. So I'm really looking forward to see what's going to happen in this book, and hopefully, like I said, it will actually be published this time around since it keeps getting pushed back. The book is supposed to be out on November 16th. And now we've come to the last book uh, of this video and possibly the one I look forward to the most. The most. There's some really good books on this, uh, you know, video. Uh, but this is Cytonic by Brandon Sanderson. This is the third book in the Skyward series. I think it's supposed to be a quartet, uh, but I'm not sure. Um, and in the first book we meet Spencer and she is doing everything she can to be able to, you know, get into this sort of flying academy school because she wants more than anything to become a pilot to show everybody that her father was not a coward and neither is she. And she has to, like, try to get through the hard, rigorous training to be able to help the humankind fight against the Krell who wants to make the humans extinct. So, a lot of shit happens. Absolutely love the first two. It's such a good series um, And I'm really really looking forward to this one. I'm currently um, Listening to the audiobooks of the first two just to be able to you know remember all the details and be definitely Completely prepared for this book and you know, I'm so excited This is supposed to be out on November 25th And I know I said this was supposed to be for the rest of the year, but I don't actually really have any books that I'm super excited for in December. So this will be all of the books I want to talk about today. Uh, are you interested in reading any of these books? Please let me know down below. And if you have anything else you're really excited about, book, um, TV show, whatever, please let me know down below what that might be and I might check it out. And if you like this video, please don't forget to give me some thumbs up. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel by clicking the button down below. And yeah, I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!